Hi guys, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to be reading an, uh, this is going to kind of be an audiobook. This is Alexander and the No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Fearis, illustrated by Ray Cruz. This book has now become a movie, and it's now on DVD. I actually did go and see it in theaters. It was really, really funny. So, let's get started. Alexander and the No Good, Very Bad Day. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was just, I had to think about it for a second. For Robert Lesher, with love and thanks. Hold on, I gotta think of it. I'm not sure. Okay. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on a skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good for that day. Of course, these pictures are black and white, but they're very, very descriptive pictures. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. There's the picture over there, and there's the picture. In the carpool, Miss Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Miss Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds. And Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess his mother forgot to put in dessert. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Field found a cavity just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall when it, where it was muddy, and then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white 
money, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I caught Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse light, burn, night light burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It was a, it has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. That was Alexander and the No Good Very Bad Day. It is written by Scholastic Incorporated, and let me read you the little summary on the back. Alexander wakes up with gum in his hair. His best friend is mean to him, and has to eat li he has to eat lima beans for dinner, and there's kissing on TV. For Alexander, it's a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. This is a very good book. It's a very good movie. And I would recommend this to anybody who likes comedy and just, you know, likes to read, like, little short stories. This book is kind of like the way that the pictures are made and formed. Um, kind of reminds me of Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. It's kind of what this book reminds me of. Um, but, yeah. So, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And like comment and subscribe and if you guys want to you can um put a um comment down below and tell me if you like this book and comment down below if you've seen the movie and tell me what's better the book or the movie thank you for watching bye oh and just to say i had a horrible a no good for, oh terrible horrible no good for a bad day at school today bye